Now here is a beautiful guitar surrounded by crap. But I'm up in Utah. This is the, my fan. It's really nice. Huh? Look at that fancy uh, chair, desk, microwave, TV, computer, little lamp. But I'm practicing through this. This is a eh. I thought it was a five or four star uh, motel hotel. It's a three star. I don't know, I'm used to a little bit, but it's not, you know, I've been here five days. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, yeah, five days. So tomorrow I'm leaving Tuesday. Uh, stayed here. Basically my son sat here, or there when he ate, mostly here, and I just sat on the bed and we talked for a long time. All Friday, Saturday, uh, I picked him up and I kept falling asleep because I'm old and I don't know how to, uh, don't know how to, uh, I got headphones on. <laughs> no wonder I can't see, hear the TV. I had him plugged in to, you know, I was jamming. I'm trying to get my fingers, you know, for... For Jamoni, because I'm going to start recording tomorrow. And so, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and I got to go Friday. So, uh, three days to record whatever I can, and then, uh, you know, I hope it's enough. I hope I get, uh, I mean, I want ten songs. I have ten songs, but if we can record it, See, I haven't touched that guitar until tonight. And I've played for about an hour. And I'm tired. I'm just... I hate just playing. Unless I got, you know, an amp set up. A really cool amp. And, you know, like I had. And I have effects. And I can noodle and doof around with it. Then I love it. But if I have to sit in a room and... I, I hate it. So, uh, you know, I, I got, because this is the reason I stayed in Exmo, well, two reasons. I wanted to see my son one more time today and go visit, you know, go to his house and see his snake, see how big it's gotten, my grand snake, because I have any grandkids yet. And, uh, man, yeah, it's, you know, just wanted to see him for five days. Because it's been, uh, it hasn't been that long. It's, he was down in California in May. And then my, you know, mom went in June. And I tried to get up here, but I couldn't. But his mom came up, so that was really cool. She stayed here, Logan, Utah, for a week. So when I got here, it was snowing. And that was cool. Snowed for like two days and then rained all up until this morning and then now it's clear and got boring weather all the way home it'll be in the 50s and 60s here and in 30s 20s at night uh where i'm at it's it gets flipping cold at night but there's snow everywhere everywhere there's snow I mean, we drove up into Idaho yesterday, and it was just like a blizzard. So, I wouldn't want to live in Idaho. But, you know, what is this, like uh, 20 minutes, 10 minutes, 20 minutes from it, so. Anyways, blah, blah, blah. Uh, so, I'm supposed to be touching that guitar more than I am, but I don't feel like it. I'm hoping that I get there and I'm able to lay the tracks down. It's just I won't be able to do any, you know, gymnastics, really, you know, shreddy stuff that sounds good. It'll be sloppy if I do it, so I might have to slow it down or just get the rhythm tracks down. If I just get the rhythms down and uh, some kind of lead that can be redone so the singer can get everything because he's starting now 
So the singer is in California, Northern California. And I am in Southern California. And the guy who's also playing bass and recording everything, George, is in Provo, uh, Utah. Uh, and so I come up here because, you know, I had to pack all my stuff up. But, uh, yeah, I was kind of worried about leaving because I didn't want to leave my dad. He's old, and, you know, he's missing his wife. She was the backbone of the entire family. I mean, everywhere. And her gone has just left everybody dangling. Even if they don't know it, they are. But, uh... What a screwed up year this is, huh? 2020 is like the most... And I thought this was going to be the greatest year. If everything worked out. I figured, I won't get into it, but I just thought, if this and this and this happens, it's going to be a great year. Because last year I started, everything started falling into place. And I was going to make a, a move back up here. And get a you know another job and just get things going again to where I'm more uh, settled and don't I'm not running around so much and whatever. But because uh, I'm old, I love to travel. It's just it's hard on me because I'm an old freaking. <laughs> I'm fifty ish. I'm 50. Let's just say that. So, uh, you know, it's harder than when I used to travel around. I'd get in my car when I was like 32, 31, and drive all over the country. And, you know, I had the money to just blow, so I'd, you know, stay at these really nice places and stay in Vegas for a week. In this suite, and you know, it just didn't matter because I had, you know, enough money to do whatever I wanted. I, I never thought that would end. I just kept making more and more money every single year for a long time, and then it just all went poof. But I saved a lot, and you know. You can, the poor guy doesn't have a hundred and two hundred, whatever, how many guitars and basses and amps and crap I have. It's just, you know, I had a place up here. I had property, but I, I don't know where it is. I got to find it. So I'm going to do that. I, I was going to do that on the way back, but it, it's going to depend on how long I stay in a Provo recording. Now that I took the extra day to practice... And I end up practicing about, about an hour. It's better than nothing. But, uh, I don't know. Just thought I'd show you the room. There it is. That's a big mirror. <laughs> Whatever. But, so that's what's happening. I mean, I've shot a couple videos, but usually when I talk and I'm like, Especially up here, because I like Utah. But they're they're crazy. They're going crazy. And it's not really... I'll say it. People are leaving California. People in California are nuts. I was born and raised in California and was going to live and die there until I turned 31, 31, 32, and I started traveling more and more and more. And I'm like, wait a minute. When I did my cross-country thing with my friend for like a couple months, we just got in my truck and went east until we hit the Atlantic and then went up, you know, New York and all that crap and then came back. And we fished everywhere we could, every river and lake we could find and, you know, anything famous. We were on a fishing deal. And camping and, you know, visiting relatives and seeing the sights. That was in 99, so I saw the uh, 
World Trade Center and all that stuff. And uh, that's when I realized that people in California suck. Because I came back, because two years before I went to England. People are really nice in England. They're a little nuts, but they're very nice. You know, they invite you back to their house, or, you know, it's amazing how many people or families own their own pubs, especially in small towns. And they, you know, come on over and, you know, endless drinks because you're an American and, you know, drinks are on them. They own the pub. I remember this one pub was out in the middle of nowhere, and first thing I did is went to the jukebox thing and put in Ace of Spades. And there's a bunch of old, you know, fogies in there, and one girl who was surrounded by 20 guys, and I think she had most of her teeth, you know, aligned. You know, the teeth thing is true in England, but... So I went there, and went, you know, went around... Europe and I'm like, eh, you know, nice place to live or visit, but wouldn't want to live here. But it got me thinking, so I came back and I'm like, well, so I, then I decided to travel the entire country on my own. I've done it a few times when I was a kid with my family, but you know, you're a kid. When you do it on your own, you do what you want, and you have a different experience, and you find out how. The coast left, you know, California, jerks, more inward you go, people become nicer, and they're nice. And then you're thrown off because you're so used to being in California, like you don't look anybody in the eye, you don't say hello, you know, nothing. Everybody's, you know, out to get you, it's, you know, it's horrible. Of course, the weather's nice, but who cares? So... I was like, wait a minute, everybody's so nice, except for in California. And then I get to New York, and I'm like, holy crap, it's it's another type of California, but worse. I didn't like it. Too crowded, too... Some people love New York in the fast... No, no after I'd been in the middle, uh-uh. So I'm like, I want to live, you know, Utah, because it's close to California, and my family is all there. Now my son is up here, and my dad's in California. My mom's gone. So now I don't know. Now I'm like, well, I should move up to Utah. But, yeah. It's not that easy. Even though I've got, what, uh, three cousins that have just moved? Good for them. Um... You know, good luck. One moved to a place that I'm like, what? What? And the other moved, did the same thing. You know, good state, but way too far north. And the other one is way too far deep south. And who else moved? Oh, I got an aunt and uncle. They just moved up here, but they're going to be down in southern Utah. And it's really growing. And not only that, it gets hot, like Vegas hot. It's just beautiful. But it's very hot. So, uh, I wouldn't want to live there, but, you know, they bought a house up here. Or actually, it's being built. You know, my uncle is a professor at, uh, you name it, college in California. I think he taught everywhere in very good, very nice man. And uh, so they're moving up here next year when the house is done and uh, sell theirs in California. And then, see, that will leave my dad alone. And I don't like that, but I think he wants to be left alone. At first, he I don't think he know, knew what he wanted, but now I think he's into the you know, he's alone, he does his thing, I'm there if he needs me, if he doesn't, you know, I'm gone, I mean, I'm out of his, you know, way, I don't, 
I'm just there in case he needs me to do anything or to, you know, lighten the load. Because, you know, he's a little old. So it's hard to do the trash, mow the lawn, vacuum, clean the toilet, clean the... Fr I cannot believe how... What a mess is made by two men in that house. No wonder my mom was, you know, you know she'd get mad sometimes because it's amazing how fast that bathroom gets dirty. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm cleaning it every three days. And it still looks like crap. But whatever. So I'll be up here and I'm leaving tomorrow to Provo, Utah for three days. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, I'll drive home. Because I got an interview with somebody on Sunday at 3 o'clock. And I think Monday, I have my doctor's appointment. I think. So, yeah, I got I to gotta get back. So, But it's been nice. I've been gone five days, and I, it doesn't seem like it. Uh, I was hoping to stay up here two weeks, but it'll be... 10 days, I think. When did they do the right? Is that? When did they do the right? 10 days. 10 days is good. Alright, that's 16 minutes of babbling. I'm sure everybody's just like, what are you talking about? Uh, so I showed you my guitar. That way there's guitar in the video. And that's about it. I mean, there's nothing else, you know, that I could show you. Oh, well, this is for sale. The official trick-or-treat notebook or notepad. So I'm writing my song ideas and stuff down. How do you like that? Looks pretty good, huh? It can be yours for... I'm not sure how much you're going to sell these for. Right now, it's like 10 bucks or about to get one of these. Because I got to go through uh, Vista Print, and they're not cheap. But if I order more, the price goes down. But it's cool. It's a good picture. I mean, I look at them like shit. That's a great band, man. I check them out, and then see song ideas. So that's actually song list for the album. There you go. That's it. Just figured I'd make another video besides, you know, the two I made the f second day. And then the first day was just getting up here. So my, m most of the driving was at night. So the only exciting part is going through Vegas. And I was through Vegas in like five minutes because I was cruising. And I uh, got up here really quick. And, uh, yeah. The second day, I was trying to get up here, and it took me forever to get up here. But I got up here, and now nah, that's it. So, just, you know what? I've told you the story. <laughs> so I might update. I might shoot a little of me recording or something. I don't you know. It's just in you know, it's a home studio, and uh, you know, Pro Tools and uh, the other thing he's got. I can't remember what it's called, but. Uh, what is it? Pro Tools and the other thing. Not Garage Band, but it's like. I don't know. But he, he can do anything. He's got Pro Tools and that and this and that. And so. so, what we're doing right now with the drums is I will have a drummer do the drums, he records them, you know. And then we change it. So it's basically like triggered drums. All we need the guy to do is play. It, the drums can sound like crap. And we'll, you know, change the sound. Kind of like triggering. And, uh... So, you know, that's how we're doing it. So there's like one or two songs that are old. But I have live recordings of it. So he just, rec you know, gets it. And then the program takes the drum beat, every single, like the cymbal and the everything. Cowbell, there's a cowbell, but it's not, you know, in the song. It's a part of the song. Bunk, bunk, bunk. That's it. But it does everything. And it's, a, it's an amazing program. 
So just had to get a guy or guys to, you know, drum, uh, you know, what I needed, the basic, you know, beat for the song. And we can adjust the tempo. I had to do that several times, slow it down to make it heavier and everything. And, uh, yeah, so hopefully I'll get the guitars down and we'll get, uh, get so we got for like four, you know, Creeping Sensation, Eternal Darkness, Deceiver, and Drunken Assortly. Those are done. Or those have been recorded. I, I don't really need to go back and do anything to them, but I probably will with Deceiver. So if I get the other two slow songs, uh, Hold On and Long Ago, Far Away, Rock and Roll Legend, and one other song, that'll be eight. I want ten. That would be great if we could do ten. But that would be six songs in three days. And last time it was, well, we did three songs in three days. Actually four, but something happened, I think. What we? I think we did. Or we're, I don't know. Anyway, so it was, it was it? I got there Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday I left. I can't remember if I left early last year or the year before. But anyway, so... There you go. Now it's 21 minutes. People have tuned way out. Sorry. But I have no one else to talk to but uh, you. Right. Rock and roll metal. And uh, there you go. I'll talk to you guys later. I, You know, it's amazing how many of you commented on the uh, two little videos that I posted of my trip so far. I zero. Like, 40 people have watched it about each video, and it's nothing exciting. One has got goats and pheasants in it, and some houses, but, you know, this is in a little t town that my ancestors uh, settled called Pintura. It was called Bellevue when they settled it, but they had to change it to Pintura because of the post office. And, uh... Then the other one I just got out because I was getting into snow and it looked nice. And then I started talking a little politics and that's bad. Like Elvis said, listen, honey, I'm an entertainer. I don't talk about politics or religion. And I try not to. I mean, those videos I put, I mean, like the documentaries, I'm putting them out and, you know, they are what they are. And, you know, people got a problem with them. Because like, you know, I really want to keep growing the subscribers because I, you know, I want to do something with YouTube. But this year, I just, it, you know, caught me off guard with what happened. And it, a lot more. It's a lot more than just my mom. I made zero money this year. I've never gone through a year not making money. So... I'm like, holy crap. No, I actually made a little money, but very little. Like, a, oh, and I got a settlement. I was in a class action suit, and I just got the check, like, uh, last month, and that was really... It was a lot. It was... I'll just say that. There's a five in it. And I'm like, What? So, ran down and cashed that, but still, uh, the car, you know, I got the car got hit, and then I had to get a new battery, I had to do the tune-up, I had to do all this crap. To get... beep, 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 beep. It's amazing how fast money goes, and when it's not coming in like that. So, what I'm going to do is go home, and I think I'm getting sick. No one up here wears a mask. I've seen very few people wear a mask. They're protest. They're like they're tired of it. When I was coming up here, they said all the ICUs and hospitals are maxed out, and they're flying people in from some other effing state because they. It's a, it's a lie. It's all a lie. 
yes, there is a virus out there. It has killed about 200,000 people. That's a lot, but it's not a lot. I mean, more people die of other diseases every year. And if, you know, they're like, well, but if we didn't do anything, it would, yeah, it would have been more, but we probably would have been over it. But because people are dicking around, and I think it's probably you have several different strains, the way people are, you know, messes with your brain, messes with your eyes, messes with your lungs, mess, you know, you don't know what it's going to do. And I'm like the victim that should not get it, and I already got it in March, March 8th, I, boop, diagnosed with uh, the virus, but I took two antibiotics, uh, yeah, two packs, of the Z packs, and boop, gone. And they, you know, anything to stay out of the hospital, so I did. Hopefully I won't get sick, because, I don't know. Weather change and all that. I, I always feel weird. Because I'm up in the Rockies. It's like six, 7,000 feet up. So you get like headaches and stupid. It's just dumb crap. It usually goes away after a few days. I'm starting to feel kind of normal. And once I feel perfectly normal, I'll go back to California. And <laughs> but that's that. All right? I'm talking too much. Late. Sorry, I put you through 26 minutes of stupidness, but there you go. Me in Utah, me in Logan, Utah, 2020. The stupidest year in the world. Hate it. Later.